In this video, we're going to cover pug mill operation to fill the tubes that work with 3D Potter printers. You can also find a video on how to change the tubes on the extruder on our tech support channel. The clay we are using today is WC401 B-Mix, Cone 5 by Laguna. Before we start mixing with the vacuum pump on, we're going to pug a little bit of the clay to check the consistency. As you can see here, the clay is quite malleable. When pulled apart, there are no big stretch marks. You can comfortably poke your finger into the clay quite a distance. When pulling it out, no clay should be sticking to your finger. We're going to clean all of the seals and then turn on the vacuum pump while mixing. You do not have to use a pug mill that has a mix function. You can pre-mix your clay or buy prepared bag clay and use them with a pug mill that only has a pug function. We are now going to mix the clay for about 5 to 10 minutes on medium speed to remove all of the air pockets from the clay. After removing some clay off the end that does contain air bubbles, you should get a clean slice that shows no air bubbles on the inside of the clay. If there are holes or air bubbles in the clay, you need to put it back in the pug mill and repug it. In order to have the clay enter the tubes easier, we're going to spray some water into the tube with a very small amount of soap mixed in with the water. We are now going to attach one of our tubes onto the end of the pug mill adapter with two pins. Here we are inserting a cardboard tube that is plugged on the end. This will help back pressure build up and have the clay come out evenly and consistently. Once the polycarbonate tube is about a quarter to a third of the way full, the clay itself is causing enough back pressure and the cardboard tube can be removed. Be sure to support the weight of the polycarbonate tube. To easily remove the tube and separate the clay, rotate the polycarbonate tube. For our larger 3600 milliliter tube, we're going to put the piston in the tube before we load clay into it. Be sure to orient it correctly. The clay should only touch this side of the piston. As you can see, there is a gap here with the adapter being used. Adding back pressure will help the clay fill in this area. We're going to finish loading the rest of the tubes and then prepare them for storage. We are now going to use a ceram-like material and cover the ends. In this video, we are just using off-the-shelf sandwich bags, as well as painter's tape to seal the ends. Here we are taking sections of paper towel, dipping them in water and then wringing them out, and then placing them on both ends of the tube, touching the clay. When taping the end, make sure the tape is tight. 
and that the tape is covering the holes to give it an airtight seal. Sealing the tubes this way allows them to be stored for two to three months, allowing you to stockpile tubes to have continuous printing. 